Weak, starved, battered in body and mind, they still chose to risk their lives to save others. A passenger car was packed with Nazi soldiers, with whom she chatted, money stashed in her bra, Jewish star in her coat pocket. How many times have they looked death in the eyes? How many times have they been arrested? These girls are indefatigable. As a young Jewish courier during World War II, Bella Hazan's secret missions provided essential support to the Jewish resistance, ultimately proving that the victims of the Holocaust were active agents in history rather than mere casualties, and thereby elevating Hazan to the status of an unsung hero. Following World War I, Germany was in a state of economic and political instability. Inflation and unemployment plagued the nation, and as fear consumed the people, German citizens put their trust in Adolf Hitler, a self-assured and charismatic leader. Hitler exploited this frenzied state to fuel the rise of the Nazi party. As Hitler gained popularity, he began placing blame for Germany's economic hardships on the Jewish race. German citizens followed his lead and anti-Semitic beliefs soared. After being elected chancellor in 1933, Hitler transformed Germany into a militarized state with the intent to conquer Europe for the benefit of the Aryan race. As ideas of a superior race spread, anti-Semitism became a shared sentiment among the German population. Jewish people began to suffer as a direct result of anti-Semitic actions. Their basic rights and citizenship were stripped away, most notably, with the passage of the Nuremberg Laws in September 1935. These laws banned labor for Jewish individuals, forced them to register and eventually give up valued belongings, and revoked their German citizenship. The laws banned marriages between Jewish people and those of Aryan descent. As restrictions accumulated and were enforced against the Jews, many began immigrating from Germany to other European countries. However, over the next four years, the circumstances for Jews living not only in Germany, but also in surrounding nations, worsened. Rising tensions in Europe, driven by Hitler's expanding power, provoked the creation of the non-aggression pact between Hitler and Stalin, specifically regarding Poland. Hitler's invasion of Poland in September 1939 instigated aggression between the two superpowers, marking the onset of World War II. The 1940s marked a tragic period in history, the creation of concentration camps. As Germany's hatred toward the Jewish race heightened, Hitler proposed the final solution to the Jewish problem, mass genocide. Thousands of Jews were murdered by German firing squads and herded into overcrowded, poverty-stricken ghettos. Subsequently, millions of Jews were rounded up and taken to labor and extermination camps. Jews, unaware of their ultimate destination, did not protest in a public manner, thereby creating the notion that they went to death like sheep to the slaughter. Despite this, a group of young Jewish women disproved this belief as they became couriers and directly resisted the Nazis. These unsung heroes secretly aided Jews in the ghettos, as well as the Jewish resistance throughout the war, amongst them a young woman named Bella Hazan. On December 22, 1922, Bella Hazan was born into a Jewish community in Rzeszcza, Poland. Hazan attended school and obtained skills that proved to be invaluable years later. After primary school, she joined the He Halutz Hazayer Dror, an association of Jewish people with the goal of training youth along Zion paramilitaries. After training, Bella moved to Warsaw to become an instructor working until the creation of the Warsaw Ghetto in 1940. Hazan managed to avoid placement in the Warsaw Ghetto. Later the same year, in search of refuge, Hazan and nine men embarked upon a long trek toward Vilna. They were captured by Russian soldiers on the German-Soviet border. Believed to be German spies, they were placed in prison for weeks. It was here that Hazan discovered she did not have a stereotypical Jewish appearance. Her Aryan features would be useful in secretly combating the Nazis. 
Hazan and her group were released and continued to Vilna. Along the way, Bella visited her mother and siblings in their hometown, oblivious to the fact it would be the last time she would see most of them. She arrived in Vilna on December 31, 1940. Here, Bella's most important but overlooked work transpired. In June of 1941, the Nazis launched Operation Barbarossa, invading the Soviet Union, including Vilna. Synagogues burned, thousands of Jews murdered, and survivors were forced into ghettos. To aid the survivors, Hazan exploited the Nazis' derogatory attitude towards women and her Aryan features to sneak in and out of these ghettos. She heroically volunteered as a courier and smuggled goods, including money, weapons, and medicine, to other Jews. Bella never caved. She would leave the ghetto with a work group or through small passageways or via the houses on the ghetto border. Then she'd tear off her Jewish patch, head to the market, and buy food and medicine for her friends. With these resources, Jews trapped within these ghettos were able to coordinate their own resistance movements, such as the Warsaw Ghetto Uprising. Hazan's initial work led to one of many steps forward as Jews began to resist the Nazis. As she valiantly continued her underground activities, Hazan assumed a fake identity, obtaining a Polish passport under the alias Bronislava Limanowska. In need of employment, she interviewed to be a mail carrier, the interviewer took a liking to Bronislava and offered her a job as a receptionist and translator at the Gestapo headquarters, the Nazi secret police that enforced harsh anti-Semitic laws. As a courier, Bella Hazan, alias Bronislava Limanowska, helped Jewish people escape by smuggling forged documents into ghettos. As a receptionist, Bella made copies, passed along, and mailed documents for the Gestapo. While completing this work, Hazan was able to discreetly steal several documents with the official Gestapo emblem and deliver them to resistance forgery labs. Her unsung valor saved countless lives by providing Jewish people the resources for false identification documents. This ultimately prevented several grim fates in extermination camps, altering the lives of many. After some time working for the Gestapo, an older Nazi soldier who was fond of Bronislava invited her to a Christmas party. At first she declined as she was hosting friends that evening, but the soldier insisted she bring her friends. Consequently, on December 25, 1941, three Jewish girls attended a Nazi Christmas party. Hazan and her friends danced and talked among their ignorant oppressors, once more infiltrating the enemy. The girls had their photo taken that night, creating long-lasting evidence of their deception. That photo hung on the wall of the Gestapo throughout the war as a symbol of Hazan's unsung work. The following year, in June of 1942, a fellow courier went missing while on a mission for the resistance, and Hazan volunteered to locate her. While searching, Bella was stopped along the border crossing of Grodna and Warsaw. Thought to be a Polish spy, she was put into solitary confinement. After some time, she was forced into several Polish concentration camps, where her resistance against the Nazis continued. She was an extremely brave woman. She was extremely courageous. Uh, on the other hand, she was extremely modest, and she never saw herself as a hero. After the war, Bella Hazan moved to Israel to begin a new life. She still experienced anti-Semitism even from fellow Jews. Some Jews were bitter with the Jewish survivors of the Holocaust, claiming they willingly succumbed to the Nazis' power as their work remained unrecognized. Many believe that the Jewish people did not fight hard enough to resist persecution, allowing for millions of their people to be slaughtered. Instead of finding support, Hazan and many others found resentment as they settled into Israel. To move past the cruelties she experienced during the Holocaust, Hazan wrote a memoir. Bella did not write this memoir to gain recognition for her work, but as an effort to heal from the haunting memories. 
Although not published until after her death in 2004, this personal account of the experiences and the work she did in the face of World War II's horrors created irrefutable evidence of Jewish resistance and her status as an unsung hero. Bella Hazan not only aided and inspired entrapped Jews, she also motivated and supplied other Jews to resist, regardless of looming peril. She proved Jewish resistance was a major part of hindering the Nazis' efforts during the Holocaust. In writing her memoir, Hazan's personal account led to a shift in the way the world perceives Jewish resistance during the Holocaust. Her selfless dedication not only saved countless lives, but also inspired other Jews to have hope and to resist. During a time of extreme oppression during World War II, Bella Hazan saved countless Jewish lives as a courier. Working under a false identity, Hazan took advantage of her features and transported valuable information and resources between ghettos. While working at the Gestapo, Hazan continued her work throughout the course of the war, successfully thwarting the Nazis and thereby positively affecting Jews' resistance efforts. Almost a century later, unsung hero Bella Hazan and her work within the resistance movement continues to inspire people, shifting public opinion on the existence of Jewish resistance efforts during the Holocaust.